I am so excited. Finally, this is the day that we've both been working towards to where now you can join me on the Upgrade Your Forehand Challenge journey. This is why I went on a journey over 3,000 miles, spent over $6,000 of my own money so we can arrive at this moment right now and I can invite you to take lessons from the best coaches on the planet in an effort to upgrade and transform your forehand just like it did for me. And this is so exciting and whether you are you know, fairly new to the game, like a 3.0 or a 3.5 player and you really know that you've got a ways to go on your forehand or you consider yourself like me to have a pretty good forehand and maybe you're 4 0, 4 5, or even 5, uh, 5 0 player, but you look at, at what's going on and you realize, like I kind of realized, I made a video, I put it on YouTube, I really wasn't thinking much about my forehand, and some guy kind of called it out and said it was kind of old school. And so it got me thinking and it got me watching, it got me looking. I started to look at juniors. I'm like, yeah, I guess, I guess they're doing something a little different than I'm doing. The ball's really popping off the racket. And I'm looking at these college players just crushing balls. And we know that the pros, I mean, they just murder the ball, right? And and as you look at it, you're like, okay, there's something different going on there. What is the difference? And that's why I went on the journey and worked with the best coaches on the plant to find that out. And, and it really was so fun and it made a huge difference in my forehand so and another thing too is I, I know that whether you're a singles or a doubles player this is really gonna help you we're gonna talk about a concept here in a little bit called serve plus one and it works in singles and doubles uh, but if you're on the singles court what you're gonna be able to do is right off the serve you're gonna be dominating right off the serve right off the return and you're gonna be able to when you want push opponents back to the fence so they're basically scraping the racket against the fence because you got so much heavy action on it and then whenever you want you're gonna be able to run around and just flatten out that forehand the way that Jeff Solenstein taught me to hit rocket ship forehands and if you're a doubles player it gets even more fun because now you only have half the court to cover which means you're gonna get to hit a lot more forehands if you want to and the people at the net imagine like the way Mark Kovacs taught me how to hit the ball 20 miles an hour faster you're able to do that and the person staying at the net they're not gonna want to take the chance to poach poaching scary enough now all of a sudden you're just blasting the ball cross court so they're not even thinking about going on you and you know god forbid you get one of those short balls and they and, and you're just it's like they're just staring behind uh, behind the barrel of a, of a shotgun with your forehand and you can step up there like we had a guy on our team i called him hammer time because he had the hammer forehand and no one wanted the ball hit hit by by hammer if it's coming to you at the net and because you have so much less time to react if you can add 20 miles an hour to your forehand imagine that person at the net they're not gonna have time to react so they're not gonna do anything with the volley so it's either just gonna pop up to your partner so you can put it away or you can put the next ball away or they're not even gonna make it so this is this is what's waiting for you inside the course and I know it's gonna work for you because when I, I made a creators club where I let people try this stuff out, okay? And I got emails right away and responses to surveys to where people were so excited. And, and my favorite and best email came from this, one of my friends, Graham, from across the pond. That's London, in case you don't know. And he said, finally, after 11 years of trying to figure out this lag and snap, it happened. And he explained how he watched a Rick Macy video and he was doing shadow strokes all around the house, just like my buddy Jack was and he wrote me like I'm ripping massive racket at speed and and Mark Mark Davis my friend Mark Davis is doing the same thing so after you watch this video you're gonna want to go do shadow strokes but then he got so excited he set up a lesson the next day and he's in the pat the dog position and the coach is saying do you really think that's gonna work and Graham said I don't know let's try it and boom crushing the forehand so uh, before I tell you about this just low investment that you're gonna have to make today in your game to get started let me tell you about everything you're gonna get along your journey so the first stop was Rick Macy and why this is so important for you is Rick Macy he coined the phrase the ATP forehand if, if, if you haven't watched the first couple videos Rick has developed Venus and Serena Williams. Now, whatever you think about Serena Williams, she is the GOAT, greatest of all time when it comes to female players. Andy Roddick calls him the best junior coach of all time, and that's what we're gonna learn. We're gonna learn how to play like juniors, except for it's gonna be safe and fun, and it's gonna work for you, and we're gonna mix old school with new school. It's gonna be really cool the way we're gonna do it. He also coached Maria Sharapova, Jennifer Capriotti, all huge forehands. He really knows how to develop their game, and what Rick teaches on the ATV forehand, what's so great about it for you, 
is even though that sounds like, oh, that sounds really complicated, it's actually making the stroke simpler. It's, it's breaking things down, using the kinetic chain, shortening the swing cycle so you can hit the ball harder, and then guess what? You're gonna miss less too. You know how the pros are like automatic? When they get their forehand, it's automatic. You don't see them like missing it. It doesn't look wild or erratic. It looks like controlled aggression. So like when you get your shot now, if you wanna hit the ball big, your, your, your partner's not gonna be looking at you like, oh boy, here we go again. He's winding up or she's winding up. What, what are they gonna do? Where's this ball gonna go like the wild thing? No, because you're making your stroke simpler, which is gonna be easier to find the sweet spot. There's less that can go wrong and you're gonna be crushing the forehand. So that's what you're gonna learn from Rick Macy. And that's why so many people after they watch that video, after just one hour, they're writing me and they're saying that this is already working for them. So you can improve in a very fast amount of time and the cool thing is, is even though you can improve in an hour, now you're gonna get this lesson and you're gonna be able to watch it wherever, whenever you want, because I, I think it's not meant to be watched this once. I've, I've watched it so many times and I always enjoy watching. I always learn something new and I really like it. Um, now, after I had my lesson with Rick, he told me I need to work on five things, which I found really interesting. And that was relax, 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 relax. And oh yeah, you could do number five, it's to relax. So the, so the next stop after I learned I need to relax is I knew right where to go through all my my travels and experiences, I knew this guy, Jeff Greenwald, who is one of the best players over 50 on the planet. Literally, he is. Uh, and he just crushes the ball, too. And he has developed a sports, sports psychology program called Fearless Tennis. He's one of the leading sports psychologists in the world, especially with tennis. That's his, that's his specialty. And so I set up a, a session with him to relax. And one thing that's kind of cool, just a really quick story, is when I was taking the, the lesson with Jeff, I actually tightened up because I was nervous and we were filming it. I want everything to go great. And I told him, I confided in him, and he was able to relax my shoulder, the same part that I actually tightened up on when I hit a forehand and the other thing is he gave me so many great drills that I could then go on the court and use which which I did which I record in fact that was a big stipulation that I had when I made any of these videos I said look I'll travel to you I don't care wh where you are I don't care what it cost but I got to be able to film this stuff so I can bring it back to you guys so I can bring the home the gold to you and so the next magical trip on my journey was out to Mark Kovacs and he taught me how to to not only hit the ball 20 miles an hour faster in 30 minutes, but also add my, my RPMs, which is your spin rate, went from 1,600 to over 2,300, and my power rating went over a, up 100 points. And the way he's able to do that is he's a leading world-renowned sports sci scientist. And so he works with all the top ATP and WTA players, especially in the United States, John Isner, Sloan Stevens, Mass and Keys, Francis Tiafu, and he teaches them how to max out on their potential with hitting the ball, how to hit a ball hard and safe, which is certainly important at our age and um, you know it's not about you know a lot of people you might think well I'm too old to get this he's teaching the pros it's all about the science it's all about the fundamentals this stuff works for the pros this is why they're hitting it so it's the most efficient way to hit a tennis ball it worked for me I brought if you watch the first couple of videos I brought a, a crunch time coaching student Paul who's actually a member here out to the court and he's a big power guy but he muscles it too much he was erratic you could tell he's tight and he started after we went through the Rick Macy videos and we went through the Mark Kovacs videos and then the Jeff Saldenstein videos which I'm going to talk about next, he started getting what he called easy power, relax. It felt good. It felt effortless. And that's what I'm bringing to you right now. And so my next journey was going all the way out to Denver to work with a former top 100 ATP pro and one of the best online instructors in the world, bar none, Jeff Saldenstein. And the reason for that was, and I'm sure you can relate because you know, I've seen some of my students struggle with the exact same thing that I struggle with, is I can set up a point really well. As a lefty, you know, it's kind of like the Rafa play. I can use what, what Will Hamilton calls the battering ram, and I can attack your back end and get lots of opportunities in the, in the midcourt to do something with the ball. A game changer on the pro tours, I struggle with the inside out forehand. You don't see any pros struggle with the inside out forehand. And once you get the inside out forehand down, now you can go inside in, you go inside out, and when you execute it, it's, it's unstoppable because your opponent doesn't know where it's going and when you hit the ball and you connect, it goes through the court, as Jeff Saldenstein called it, like a rocket ship. 
And the cool thing about the Jeff Solenstein lesson, as, his, as he was teaching it to me, I'm thinking, well, this isn't this a little old school when he was talking about uh, Agassi and Peter Quarter? But then I watched a match, true story, I watched a match a couple days later with Roger Federer playing Stan Wawrinka, and he had the same exact shot at the French Open, and he hit the same exact follow-through that Jeff was teaching me. So they're still using this stuff on tour today. Plus, here's another cool thing that Jeff taught me that we didn't have time to put in our three part series. He taught me how to get to the ball faster with less steps. Let me repeat that. Get to the ball faster with less steps. I'll sign up for that one at age 46 because he saw me moving. I was taking all these unnecessary movements and steps and, and being very inefficient with my footwork. And all of a sudden he had me getting to the, all the way across the court with like two steps. And, and anybody can do this. And it was really, really cool the way he broke it down for me. And once I had all these lessons from just these legendary coaches, again, it just made it really hit home to me like everybody needs a coach. You know, even the great Roger Federer needs a coach and I'm never gonna make another course without going through a process like this because not only is it making me better as a player, it's making me better as a coach. So as I'm going through all these experiences, I'm going, oh my gosh, I've got so many new ideas now to put into drills to practice this stuff. So that's the next part of our journey is you can watch all these lessons, you can watch them forever, but you can also go through the drills with me and and they're really, really good, and they're, they, they help a lot, I can tell you. So um, that's really cool. And then the final piece of this upgrade your forehand challenge that you will go through is I, I look at a lot of the pros. I was studying all the pros hitting, and I was trying to figure out, you know, what's, what, what are the commonalities and what are some differences that maybe I shouldn't pick up, you know, this is just unique to the player and also might, you know, lend us some bad habits for you. So I break down all these pro videos. I'm like, we want to be doing that. We want to be doing that. We don't, don't do that. That might mess up your forehand. And so you get to go through all those videos as well. And then finally, you're going to get to pick your own journey. Before I started this journey, I was so excited that I wrote you guys an email saying, hey, I'm going to go on this journey. And I gave you guys the choice. I'm like, do you guys want to do self-study where I just give you all the videos at once and you know, just go, go after it? Would you want to do a seven-day challenge? Because lots of people, you know, they need that kickstart. Like, you know, to get started sometimes is the hardest thing. So some people are like, sign me up for a seven-day challenge so I know exactly what I'm going to do, at least for that first seven days that I'm, I'm off sprinting. And then a number of you, a great deal of you said, I want a 30-day challenge. Seven-day challenge is, is not long enough, especially the people who have gone through some of my 30-day challenges before. They love it. So they're like, please, let's do a 30-day challenge together. So you can pick whatever experience you want, and it's going to be a lot of fun. Now, before we get into that, though, and you get started, again, for just a crazy low investment, we already know that I've spent over $6,000 of my money, traveled over 3,000 miles. We're going to get to that in a second, but I want to talk to you about a concept called serve plus one. This is super important for you. Now there is a stats guru out there named Craig O'Shaughnessy and he coaches Djokovic. He follows, he's the guy allowed into all the majors to run stats and to know exactly what's going on. He's got just a, you know, tons of stats and what he's come up with to simplify it is like, hey, the pros, it's, it's a complicated game, but basically what they're running is a play called serve plus one because most points, 80% of points, are finished within four shots and really, you know, a good majority of those are finished with the first two shots because once a pro puts in this bomb first serve and they put in the bomb forehand, that's the play, big serve, big forehand, it's unstoppable. It's a play that you just can't stop because yeah, you know a big serve's coming, but you don't know where it's going in the box. And yeah, you know a big forehand's coming, but you don't know where they're gonna hit it. Is it going inside in? Is it going inside out? And when you can execute, it's like you're playing Michael Jordan. It's like everybody know Michael Jordan's gonna get the ball to finish the game, but he's still gonna score because you don't know exactly what he's going to do. And that's what serve plus one is. And so to make sure that this is complete for you, I'm throwing in a bonus for this week only to where you can get my 3X power our serve course because that is going to help you 3x your power by building the unbreakable kinetic chain and everybody has gone through this course you know one of my uh, mo the most compliments I receive I think is on this course and I think the upgrade your forehand challenge uh, might even be better than this but 
you know, the 3X Power Serve course, you're building the unbreakable change. We're going from the ground up. We're showing you the mechanics of how to hit a serve hard and how to get it under control. And so you're going to be able to, to just hit bomb serves up the tee, out wide, and then you're going to have your pick of the litter of where you want to hit your forehand. And as Brad Gilbert calls it, you'll have a fear hand, right? Right? It's fearing. People are going to fear you. So whether you're playing singles or doubles, you're playing singles, you hit that big serve in, and now they fear you because they don't know where to sprint across the court, but then you can just hit right behind them, or should they kind of see where you're going to hit, and then you hit cross court, and they can't catch up to the ball. So you literally have them on a string. If you're playing doubles, again, you're hitting big serves in, and if you're not a serving volleyer, no problem. You just set up. you got a big forehand. You can either rip it and, and come in behind that, or you can rip it at the net, man, if you've got a really good target, and you know that they're afraid of you at the net. You're bringing that fear hand because you went through the upgrade your forehand challenge. That's what you're going to get, guys. So, you know, it's it's really, really awesome. And as I said, I've, I've traveled over 3,000 miles putting this together because I believe in it so much. Spent $6,174.24 of my own money so I could bring this to you. But the most important thing is we already know what it's worth to me. But what is it worth to you? And before you kind of make that final decision, if you're going to move forward on this page or whether you're going to walk away, there's some important questions I think you should be asking yourself. And it's like, well, you know, what if I were Graham? Let me put, let me put you in Graham's position. What if it was 11 years and you couldn't figure out how to hit the lag and snap and then you watch a one hour video and all of a sudden light bulbs go off and you got so excited you're practicing in your house and then you go out to a court, take a lesson the next day and you're showing the pro and the pros like even kind of looking at you like crazy and then you hit, bam, you crush it. And you know from that moment that yes, this is the way to do it. You know, what is that worth to you as much time, passion, and energy and love as you put into the sport? I'm sure it's going to be pretty valuable to you. I know it's been a life changer for me. And then imagine if you're able to actually put 20 miles an hour after a half hour lesson. If you're able to experience something similar to what I was able to experience from Dr. Mark Kovacs and not only add 20 miles an hour but add 100 points to your power rating because now all of a sudden you're hitting power and spin, as long as you've been playing tennis, if you could do that after 30 minutes, what is that worth, guys? I think it's pretty awesome. I mean, it's why we're here. It's why you're watching this video because we both love tennis. We're crazy obsessed with tennis. So again, put yourself in my shoes and you've got a shot that you've always been struggling with that you know is super important. The ability to flatten out an inside out shot because you know once you get that, you, the, no one can read you. It doesn't matter. If, if you have that shot, once you go inside in and inside out, no one can catch up to your forehand. And the pro is saying you're hitting rocket ship forehands. And he's a former top 100 ATP pro, one of the best online instructors in the world. What if you could take a lesson and go through that same exact lesson and learn how to improve your footwork? You know, what is that worth to you? Now, the good news for you is you're not going to have to travel all across the country and stay in hotel rooms and get in Ubers and rent cars and eat crummy food on the road and stay in a Motel 6 like I did, which I will never do again. I'm never doing that again for you guys. Well, maybe I will, but anyway, you don't have to do that. And you don't have to spend $6,000 of your own money. You don't have to even spend $1,000, not even $500 to take some of the best training you're ever going to get on the forehand, not even $250 you're not even going to have to spend $100. For, for $97, you get started on your Upgrade Your Forehand Challenge. And again, you have the choice to go, okay, I want to do this on my own. I want to do a seven-day challenge. I want to do a 30-day challenge. You just pick below to get started. And if you want to do the seven-day or the 30-day, it, it's, it's a little more. But really, you know, you can, what, no matter what challenge you pick, you're getting started for like the cost of like a, a second-hand tennis racket. That's a decent second-hand tennis racket. I'll say that. You can get a decent second-hand tennis racket. So again, if I'm you, I'm right now at this point, I'm weighing out all the pros and cons of my investment. And I'm thinking, okay, is the coaching good enough? Well, we already know we got Rick Macy, Jeff Saltenstein, Mark Kovacs, Jeff Greenwald, and yours truly walking you through this Upgrade Your Forehand Challenge. The next thing I'd be asking myself is, yeah, okay, it might be good information, but is it actually going to work for me? That's why I created the Creators Club. And people, after they're watching a video, an hour-long video, they're saying, ah, 
light bulbs are going off I haven't had in 11 years. People right are going out to the courts. They're noticing a big difference not only in their practice but in their matches. So we know it works. The next question you got to ask yourself, well, is this worth it? And I think that's kind of a no-brainer. We know that I thought it was worth to bring you this course. I found it worth it to travel over 3,000 miles and spend over $6,000 of my own money. So the investment you're having today is pennies on the dollar, literally, okay? And then finally, to make it a complete no-brainer, I'm adding an upgrade your forehand or bust full money back guarantee just to take all the risk off of you. So you're going, well, what if I don't like this course? You can send me an email to crunchtimecoaching at gmail and you get a full 100% money back guarantee. And so when you look at that, the investment and the risk of finally being able to develop a fear hand to be able to upgrade your forehand and realize if you run the numbers, you keep running the numbers, it's like one of those equations where you're like, I can't lose. I can't, this is a no fail investment. Every way I run the numbers, they work for me. I don't lose anywhere. That's literally what I've created for you. So you can get started by clicking the, the link below and you can get instant access to all these lessons. And really, I think at this point, if you're still watching this video, the only thing holding you back is fear, right? So you have to ask yourself before you leave the page, what do I want? Do I want a fear hand to where you know people can't poach on me, I'm crushing the ball, I'm running serve plus one play, dominating, having more fun on the court than I've ever had in my life, or do you want to play with fear, where like you don't trust your forehand, you're afraid to hit the ball, you, you, you find yourself sinking further and further behind the baseline, you're getting pushed around, you know, now's your time to decide. And when you get started, when you click that button, the, the, all the train is going to be there for you, whether you pick to get it all at once, you're, you're going to get everything all at once no matter what. It's all going to be there whether you pick self-study, seven-day challenge, or 30-day challenge. All the videos are going to be there. It's just what journey do you want to go on. And if you have any trouble getting into the course, do not pay panic. Trust me. This is not a practical joke I'm picking on you. I went all over the place developing this material. I want you to get in so badly to experience how awesome this is. So all you got to do is send me an email to crunchtimecoaching at gmail.com. If you have any trouble, any confusion getting in, you can even call or text me at 770-990-8034 because I am just I'm so antsy to get you inside this training because I want you to share in one of the best experiences of my life. This has been a bucket list tennis experience for me. And so I want you to do the same thing. And i just so grateful and happy that you followed me on this part of the journey, but we're only getting started. So go down below and let's continue the journey. And now here's where the fun really begins.